he told his guys to pack something that brings them good luck. So DJ Horn said he brought his back in the lineup. Jaden Taylor will not start. Rolled his ankle last night. They are hoping that he can Davis and Morcell is that considerably bigger than Davis. Godot into the paint forces it up. No turns. They put the double on then took it off quickly just to stop the back down. Turn around by Horn will drop through. That's why they are still here. Harrison Ingram with that tap out on the offensive rebound. I thought Elliot Cadeau had a chance to get it, but he Carolina in the last game between these two teams. Both he and DJ. Well, obviously, they would love to have the services of Taylor, but if they don't, they'll have to go a little bit. He has had two very good games against North Carolina State, and his penetration is excellent. Right on cue. I'm rounding up. <laughs> You're so generous. O'Connell open. Knocks down a three. Tournament. Then he made the last 17 games combined. Davis got caught on Burns. Baycott over to help. Side out. That's their game. Which is what State's doing now with Burns. No double here. Big fellas going at it. And Remember, NC State got out to a huge lead playing against North Carolina the last time. And then Carolina minutes per game. Middlebrook's about 19. And I thought, Jay, that Middlebrook steals in that game against the Cavaliers. And he made some real. Boy, these are two guys who they don't shy away from the physical part of the game. The kick to Horn, it's short, and they got the. A great job by NC State to get back and thwart that break. Diara for three. Yes! And Davis the kick. Withers the drive. Off balance, it'll go. Down there, not. They're trying to get down the floor and get something early. Morcell went flying, and then O'Connell ahead to Diara. Hey, don't hang on it that long afterwards, but I like the fact they didn't call it technical. Horn off the screen. Floater. Oh boy, DJ Horn for the heels, especially two nights ago against Florida State. And great defensively. Baycott with the jumper. Get a touch. He can hit it. And he does. Ingram draws the double. Ingram gets it back. And hits the three. Tennessee got run. Duke got run in this event by NC State. So here Carolina the one seed. They had a magnificent and then beat a very game and determined group of Pitt Panthers 72 65 in the semis. They sat him out. They were playing Louisville. They were able to win without him. So for him, just his fourth and fourth four days, Jaden's threw it right over Armando Baker. Jay, how about four assists? And we know he's a great passer. How about four assists already for Burns? But he couldn't keep like the first half at North Carolina between these two teams where DJ Horn got off to such a quick start. That one rattles. Davis steps back and wow. hits it out on the baseline. And when Casey Morsell plays aggressively, NC State's a different team. Cadeau and Nguyen. And Horn left it short. Davis. Another three. Hits again. Tipped out by Cadeau. Davis driving on Diara and will head to the free throw line. So has been exemplary on and off the floor. And four guards around DJ Burns right now for State. Boy, Burns looked for multiple threes. That's where the problem comes in. Davis another step back three not this time Burns go in the first half Horn another floater wow. and another basket Joe Baycott to step up there he kept retreating toward the basket Baycott walks into a jumper and ties the game as he was coming by to reach in shot clock running down Taylor slips Burns for three. Oh boy but North Carolina State is shooting 58% in it's an indication that they're not getting as physical on the diff two at the elbows two in the corners would help but open is burns and he's got two more burns tonight well that was over help by armando baker he can't stay on the ball that long
Burns in there. He's been playing great tonight. Fifth game in as many nights for the Wolfpack as we've got another foul going against State from Stanford, who's had such a great year for Carolina. To come in off the bench and provide quality minutes. This is those three fouls. And again, it's Burns. And again, the double. Good pass. And another assist for Burns. To go to Davis. Davis to Ryan. Gets it off and hit it. The rebounds there have been in this game as well at either end. Cado no. And Baycott just got called for a foul. That'll not playing over 17. And they're going at it again. Boy, is he skilled. A steal by Baycott. Ingram a corner three. Oh, and what a mistake. Horn. Well defended by Cadeau. Goes at him again and draws the foul. Davis is willing to take that tough two. Wear him out a little bit. Rather Down the victory in overtime against Virginia last night by making all four. Make him guard. Playing with three. Cadeau driving again. Can't hit it again. Burns out almost to the three-point line. He gets where he wants to get and he banks it home. Baycott misses the look at the assist total. That's that's part of it as well. Some of those are probably for three. Here they go again. And he hits again. He did to Duke. He wound up with 27 points, but Duke played him one-on-one -on -one in the post to shut everybody else down. Burns goes to game. You know, the mop guy is down at the other end. That's a pretty wide swap <laughs> he's having to deal with down there. Horn draws. Five games in fun. Five in five days to win a conference championship. The Kemba offensive players in the country, and then a rejection. Horn and a foul. Two years in Virginia, three in Raleigh. Horn the state by four. Harrison Ingrams at a 14 and a 12, and he's got seven tonight. Morcel the turnaround. And it's back. Where is this energy coming from for NC State? Davis steps in and buries it. Boy, you take a games in five days to win a conference tournament. It is remarkable what they high school back car. What yeah. they play for the great Morgan yeah. Wooten at the Mapa. Carolina needs to get the ball inside more often. They do right there. Could go with a nifty feet. Lost it. Diara finds it. O'Connell takes it. Gets a touch. A foul on Baycott. His matchup they have for DJ Burns. You're not going to put Jalen Washington on him. It's an automatic double, right? You have to. Well, if you double, then you put yourself in a position. Middle. Baycott's got those three fouls. Burns up and in. Does it? Is the rebound for the Tar Heels. Back from Cadeau. And Davis lays it in. At this time, Baycott did a great job not letting them get too close to the bucket. Davis draws the foul. One of two for Davis. O'Connell. Pulls up and hits. Wow. RJ 10 seed with a five point lead on the top seed in Carolina. Horn short. Out of bounds. Them on the way by and said, Don't go too far. Sit in that first seat. If we get the ball back, you're going back in. And they got the ball back. Five out. Horn sizing up Ryan. And hits wow. it. What a Carolina needs to put him in some action. Go right at DJ Horn. Davis from the corner with the answer. It's a long crossover. Floater. Yes. And a great bounce pass, but Diara missed the reverse. Got it back and puts it in. 21 points tonight for State. Takes a bump and hits.
game with a bad ankle. Horn's in the game with four fouls. Let him back him down. Taylor on Davis. Now Ingram is doing that. There's the help from Diara to swat it at this level now. They lost their last four coming into the tournament. What really difficult schedule in a very short time frame. But they're doing them that big upset of Duke. And then Virginia in overtime last night. Another tear drop here, DJ. Horn wanted to take Ingram, but instead it's into Burns. He's doubled. There goes the double. There's the open three. And Morcell hit. And Horn is going to slow it down. Morcell, not this time. Hey man, I got hit in the head there. Does that not count? Nearing the four minute mark. Horn is fouled. Being told it's a groin issue for Casey Morcell. Made them both. And it's back to a 10. And Dan, you have to think that a full team, DJ Burns, that has not worked out particularly well, but I think they have to. Oh, is he going to back them down from that far out? Good pass into Horn, who lays it in. Briefly here in the second half, and now State's up 11, but a steal by Davis to get it down to nine. Under three to go. Davis, the pull up. And a battle for the ball between Davis and Morcell. And it's getting on the possession arrow. Defended to keep it away from R.J. Davis. Baycott's going to drive it. And he is fouled by Middlebrooks. Two big makes for Baycott. Now Ryan is wide open in the corner. And Diara, another rebound and a foul. Two huge makes for Mohamed found away. Miracle Mike found yeah, the way. That's right. The guy at the free throw line. Three for Ryan. Beat Duke 74 69 in the quarterfinals. Right now, it's about inbounding the ball cleanly. His 82nd game, he's never started a game. Generally, he plays a hand. And they just keep making their free throws. Well, that's a one of them's right here at the foul line. The R has been huge. You could give it to home coach. They came in this week really talking about wanting a Destiny's Darlings type of thing. And well, you don't want to foul there. Pass called. That's his set. Still a nine point game. Now Cadeau, now Ingram for three. Middlebrook swats it out of back. They've got a guy who hit his first three of the season tonight, and they got a guy who scored all. <laughs> We've had real rounding issues this week, America, with the NCAA tournament. There would be no at large. And Kevin Keats, historic. Carl, <laughs> they have had an unbelievable week. Ingram for three. For the North Carolina State Wolfpack and let the celebration begin in Raleigh. Every bit of this. Guy contributed in a different way and it was enough to take home a trophy. The combination of it will ever forget. Just extraordinary. Yep. DJ Burton said it a couple of nights ago. Quote, we're not ready.